today's concept. Okay, before that, tell me what is cloning. Yesterday, I have seen cloning. What is cloning? Tell me what is cloning. Copying of the existing. Copying of what existing? Object or. Okay, object. Okay, but then only object. Huh? So what objects? There are so many objects. Nothing. What objects? Okay, so you can copy tables or entire schema or entire database. Data. Okay, so okay, so it's a what? It's a preservation of data. Okay, so preservation. Okay, why you want to copy? Because okay, we want to see the data. Like something happened to the production data, we need to take a backup and we can able to recover it. Okay, so it's a snapshot. Okay, or replication, or a backup. Okay, anything. Okay, any name we can put. So there. Okay, so what? Okay, so far good. Okay, now what happened? Now we'll see. Now what the concept we need to see? Okay, now today we'll see one more topic. Okay, create. Table and compared to SQL, this SQL Snowflake concepts are simple only. Okay, so so create table. Suppose like customer details. Okay, customer ID. Okay, number. Customer name, it's a where care. Okay, customer city. Okay, suppose like city. Okay, like simple example. Okay, when you're learning any tenant concept, no, like learn with simple concept, practice the complicated topics. Okay, then only you can able to this. Okay? Where care, bracket open, bracket close. Okay, so take the same thing. Okay, so go back here. Okay, table has created. Okay, now tell me what we are in which database? We are in data load dev db. So before that, yesterday what I said for each and everything, what a query ID will be there, and what there will tell me for each and every statement, what will there for each and every statement? What I said yesterday, we will have Not a ID. query ID and as well as a session ID okay. will be there. What the point is? So query ID and session ID. Okay. So this will be unique, okay. Query will be everything will be unique, okay. So you can have it. So we understand this thing, we'll go for it. Okay, now what happened? Now try to insert some data. Okay, insert into customer details values. Okay. Customer ID one, customer name Praveen. Okay, then city has you like Hyderabad. Okay. So copy the same thing. Okay. So second record, okay, Kumar, okay, so assume like Bangalore, okay, in a similar fashion, third record, okay, so third record, Ram, okay, is from Pune, okay, so now what happened, okay, so see three tables, okay. now tell me Snowflake DMLs are auto committable or not, anyone, are we going to commit explicitly in Snowflake? Auto committable. Auto -committable. Okay, so so Snowflake in DMLs are auto committable. Okay, so see, so select star from this. Okay, now what happened? Suppose like assume like okay, so see this thing. I'll take the screenshot. Important. Okay, listen carefully. So see what happened right now. What okay, three assume like three records are there. Suppose like Ram has moved from Pune to Delhi. So he got transferred from Pune to Delhi. Tell me how to modify the existing record. We should go for what concept? Existing record. Existing record. We should go for what concept? Update. Update, update statement, update statement. Okay, so see, update, update, customer details, set city equals to what? Okay, Delhi, I should make Delhi. Now what happened? Okay, where, where customer ID, customer ID. Eight equal to three. Okay, so what happened? Okay, so why mistakenly what? Okay. So by mistake only, instead of one record, he updated for all records. Tell me, when I put rollback, tell me it will work. Huh? Any impact will be there. There won't be any because these are auto commentable. Okay. Now tell me, is it correct? Huh? Tell me, instead of one record, I have updated all the three records. Is it correct? Tell me. Anyone? No. No, no it's a, like it's a, suppose like if you do the same thing in production environment. So by mistake only, understand this is case. By mistake only, instead of, instead of, Running this query, query in dev environment, dev environment, he run this query in production environment. Okay, tell me it's a what say, suppose like instead of one record, so what happens? A big escalation will happen. Okay, so escalation will happen. Okay, so 
Okay, now what happened? Okay, now database administrator will come into picture. If any backup, suppose like we any backup is there, then only we can able to, then only we can restore the data. Okay, got the point of use case, restore it. Okay. So what the point is that what I'm trying to convey is that, okay, so instead of one record, by mistakenly what, okay, so he did like this and he committed this transaction. Now what happened? Okay, now data is now, see, like, see what happened? So we are getting updated, but we want to get this previous data okay so normal database what we'll have when we have backup only we can able to get okay tell me in, Snow, in snowflake what's the concept by using this we can able to go back and we can able to get this instant what's the concept name name of the concept anyone time travel time travel okay so time travel see so got the you, see, you got the point of what i'm trying to say see what happened is see, i want to get the previous state of my data this is my previous state before update statement i want to get this data so for this purpose what we're having what concept we're having time travel concept got the point a little bit at least you can see so what the use case is that i okay, i want to get before update statement what is my data i want to see this data how can i see this data by using what concept by using time travel feature got the point a little bit at least okay so remember okay knowing the concept is not important what does things know like okay the interviewers ask okay where you have used okay in which scenario you have used these things okay got the point so see one second okay so i'll explain okay definition is that what okay it enables accessing historical data data that is so this is a definition okay the definition okay so i'll explain in a simple manner okay data that has been modified that has been changed or deleted okay at any point within a this, this is the definition normally within a defined period of time okay simply what you can say so time travel is nothing but what okay accessing historical data okay historical data that has been modified or deleted by somebody or the same one okay, the madam the simple thing is that what i want to get is previous data how can i get by using time travel feature okay so go back here we'll see one more time okay so go back here now what happened okay now instead of this thing we'll put different one more okay so one more table so take the same thing put the same thing okay so different table i'm taking okay so honest okay so what i said before for every statement what a query id see so this is a query id okay see copy this query id so see click on this and you'll get the query id okay so it will be unique okay so take this one value and put here okay so important okay in a similar fashion what i am trying to insert one more record for everything what happened a query id be there. click on this thing copy this query id okay okay tell okay so take the same thing and put here now take the same thing and take the query id take the same thing and query id okay tell me is it possible to take every time query id it's not possible okay so we'll see what exactly okay so take this as no take this query id okay or else we'll try it okay now what happened how many cards are there if see how many cards are we having three records are there three records are there now what happened okay now now see what happened now instead of one record so a junior guy assume like so what i said okay snowflake so many sf developers how many developers will be like three to four guys will be there okay assume like a, a junior developer is there he by mistake instead of one one updates one record he updated all the records now what happened okay tell me so what we want to get we want to get the previous state previous is nothing but what okay so this is my previous state okay Got the point. Now what happened? Tell me. Now, now if exit what happened? It will be like this. Okay. Now what happened? Tell me. I did not take the query. Tell me how can I take the query ID? It's not called to copy the query. Ad. So simply can I will go for so go to go to, okay one second. Okay. I'll put the name here. Okay. Time travel. Okay, go to worksheets. Okay. So go to activity. So here activity. So we'll get the query history. Okay. So we'll get all the query information. Now tell me what is time travel, time travel is nothing but accessing historical data. Now tell me what, where we want to go, now tell me where we want to go here, okay, so one more time. Now, what we need to tell me, now we want to go to, before this update statement, I want to get the data. So for this purpose, what we need to take this query ID. So go to what, go to what, go to here, activity. So what happened, this one, okay, so click on this thing, we'll get the query ID. So I'll explain what, how to do all this, okay. So take the duplicate thing. Now go to worksheets. Okay, now time travel. Okay, 
Now, if I exit select star from what it is giving, it is giving what is giving what it is giving latest data. Now we are having one more one that is select star from customer details. Okay, so before statement. Okay, so assume this thing you will get to know. Okay, so right now what if we we'll get we will get the latest data. When I exit, so what happened? Tell me. It will give got the pointer. Huh? It will be at least. Now is the same data or not? Tell me. Getting a little bit at least. Yes or no? So see if I exit the statement, what happened? We we'll get the latest updated data. But what we want, we want to get this data. Okay, without updating this data. So simply what we need to go for select star from customer details. Going to go like this. Has got got the pointer. Huh? Okay, so this is by using query ID, we can go back to the particular period of time and we can able to access the data. Yes or no? Yes, getting a little bit at least. No. Yeah. Yes or no? One second. Okay. Okay. So, uh, by using the query uh, query ID, we can. Move from backward to okay. That is nothing but what time travel. Okay, see, like okay, like okay. So we can able to go to particular period of time and we can able to access. Okay, so suppose And replace that. Huh? Now see this thing what happened. Okay, now we are trying to create a new table. Okay, so remember before that for every statement what a query ID will be. This will be unique for all the things. Okay, so we get the points answer now. So see this thing. Okay. Now any data will be there. There won't be any data. Now, now see, now see this thing, okay? Now see what happened, okay? So, okay, for every statement, what a query ID, okay? Now, how to get the query ID, okay? Go to click on this query history. We can able to get all the information, okay? See? So, for everything, what a query, see? Query ID will be there. So, got the point. So, this is clear so far. So, now what happened? Now, now try to update the data, okay? So, suppose like, okay, by mistake, like, suppose. Okay, now see what happened. Okay, now instead of one record, what he updated for all the records. Now tell me, see this data, what happened? You get the updated record. But what we want, we want. Okay, so so I remember one thing. If what is if somebody, someone do the mistake, what should be done? Tell me. We need to, we need to rectify the issue. Rectify the issue or data. How to rectify the issue? Tell me now. Suppose we don't have the backup. Then how to do? So we are having what concept? Time travel concept. Okay, go back to the particular period of time, and we can able. Okay, now what happened? We want to go to this. We want to go to the particular period of time, and we can able to access. Okay, now what happened? Okay, go here. Go here. Now what happened? Now before this update statement, I want to get the things. Okay, so so go back here. Select stamp. It will do latest data. But now what we want? We want to get the. Previous data. How to get the previous data? We need to go to particular period of time. Customer details. So before statement. Okay. So see this thing. We can able to go back and we can suppose we are not able to follow. Suppose like before this statement. Okay. So before this statement. So before this value, so tell me before this value, what is the data? Before this value, there won't be any data. Okay. See? So there won't be any data. Okay. So if I exit, at no what happened? Tell me at this particular time, we are getting one record inside. Got the point? Huh? So before is nothing but what before the statement, what is the data? Okay. If at this nothing but what at this particular time, what is the data? Is there? Got the now? Any doubt? Yes or no? Tell me. Clear a little bit at least. So understand the concept is that what? Okay. I want to go back to the particular period of time and we need to access the data. So, how can you access Snowflake is having one more that is time travel, time travel feature. Getting a yes or no? Clear, anyone? 
this meenakshi or even nadesh even got it a little bit at least okay so if you practice now you can able to get okay see so we need to go back and we can able to get things done okay so so we'll see this thing okay now see this thing okay now select star from this table okay now we are having what we are having three records are there suppose by mistakenly i drop table. okay so see this one second okay see this in i already now what happen okay now drop table customer details okay now see drop this table we are getting this drop table okay now got it huh? now suppose like now when i try see what happened tell me it will work huh? so when table is start not there how can i get this thing so we're having one more that is undrop feature undrop table table name okay so see this thing we can able to get the data okay okay got the point a huh? little bit at least okay see so this undrop is also not time travel feature okay so we can able to go back and we can able to access okay so dropping and dropping we can able to so like this we can able to get the things done. clear a little bit at least yes sir no yes getting a huh? no so understand the concept is that what okay so time travel is nothing but what accessing historical data going to particular period of time and we can able to access the data yes sir no getting a huh? no n1 okay see so drop this table if i want to we simply use and drop keyword so that we can able to get okay so if you now table to follow no suppose like i am trying to create create table something like test 11 okay now i am putting id number understand concept now what happen i am using insert into test 111 okay important concept okay test 11 okay values 1 okay so see this thing i am inserting the record so suppose like same record i am trying to insert one more record okay see record now what happen okay now i am trying to drop this table okay drop table test 11 okay okay drop this table now i am trying to perform and drop tell me what happened tell me table why we are not able to get any data anybody can see the data you can able to get okay so by seeing this all this information you will get okay so table did not exist or was purged anyone anyone any anyone can able to get what is the thing so see we are putting data retention time is equal to zero data retention time is equal to zero in the sense like what okay so we are trying to okay link is actually come back okay so trying to disable the time travel okay so time disable the time travel got the point yes sir no so we are trying to disable the time travel feature got it a little bit at least so link explain come back you see one more time so you need to follow okay i guess following or not so see okay <laughs> okay come back we'll see one more time okay i'll explain later okay so see okay simple concept understand what time travel is what okay so going going to particular period of time and accessing the accessing the one second yeah. and accessing the historical data historical data okay see what happened simple okay i want to go to particular period of time and we can able to access okay so what okay within within a so within a specified period of time okay we can't able to go beyond that okay so okay see okay see going to particular period of time and accessing the historical data within a specified period of time this is nothing but what data retention time okay retention time so if you see what happened okay specified period in the sense like what suppose like one day we can able to go for one day back if i go for two we can able to go, okay see by default okay so by default when you create for any table what happened data retention time will be one day up to one day we can able to go back and we can able to access this is important thing so by default data retention time will be 
one day okay one day we can able to go back and we get so what happened okay now what we are trying to do i am trying to create one table i have disabled this thing. so disable in a sense like what okay there is no time travel got time got the point as see suppose okay so we'll create one more table suppose like test with time travel okay test without time travel okay so without time travel okay so now i am removing this thing so when i remove this thing what happened tell me by default it will be what how many days for all this step by default it will be what it will be one day okay one, one day, day. One day. Okay, so, okay. so mute yourself out saying okay. can we change the data using time travel change the data in the sense like what changing the data modifications let's just select only select only we can't able to change so it's for accessing data okay see Suppose like something is something issue happen. Okay, we need to get the data and we need to do store somewhere. Okay, so it's for selecting only. Okay, we can't able to change the data. Okay, see now we are trying to create one table. Create table, test with TTT. Okay, so this is one table and this is without time travel. Okay, now see this thing. Okay, try to drop both tables. Okay, so drop this table, drop this without time travel. Okay, drop this table and drop this table. Now see first table with the time travel okay and with second table with your time okay now trying to undrop okay so undrop now this one undrop okay see first one is getting we can able to restore data so see successful restore what about this one tell me that's not like, because what we have disabled the time travel so data retention time equal to zero in the sense like what when you go back to so what happened show tables what happened suppose when you try to go back to show tables what happened okay Data detection time will be what? It will be zero. Okay, see, it will be so test without see, it will be zero. Zero in the sense like what? We can't be able to access the historical data. Got the point? A little bit at least. Yes or no? Getting a point, sir? Yes, anyone yes, in order, sir? Okay, so see, okay. So understand the concept is that what? Okay, we can go back to particular period of time and we can be able to access the data. Okay, particular period of time is nothing but what? Say, data retention time okay so it will be some period of time okay so suppose like we are putting what we are putting zero in the sense like what we are disabling the data suppose when i put one in the sense like what up to one day we can able to access after one day we can't able to see the data because it will be there it's not there got a point right? so before this one now we are having one concept okay so go back here so we're having one more concept is okay so table types okay so we're having anybody knows sir, what are table types are having snowflake table types Anyone? Transient table. First one permanent. First one is the permanent table. Then next one is what table? Transient temporary. Okay, transient and temporary tables. Okay, so these are. Okay, we'll see what exactly this means. Transient and temporary. Okay. So focus on this thing. What? Okay, these are what? These are snowflake. We can say internal tables. Okay. Once with external table, can we can have external snowflake internal. Table. So we are having permanent table. Transient table and temporary table. Okay. So permanent table. Okay. See this thing. Okay. So see, I'm trying to create table. Okay. Suppose like permanent, permanent employee. Okay. Employee ID number. Okay. So see, in a similar fashion. So this is I'm putting transient. Okay. So these are important, okay, when we are working for load, data loading part, okay, this is temporary, okay, temporary. Okay. okay, so take the same thing, okay, so copy. So we're having what? We are having three types of department table, transient table, and temporary table, okay, go back here and try to create, okay, see, permanent table, this is transient table and this is temporary table. Okay, now tell me we should go for what list of tables? How can I see? By using each concept, list of tables should go for what? Show tables. Okay, see, show tables. Okay, so there we can able to get this data. Okay, so what happened? I'll put no, there's so many things are there. Okay, so click on this thing. Okay, three tables. Okay, okay, tell me for these three tables, what is the data type? What is the retention time? For all these tables, by default is what? By day. default is what? One day. Okay. So one important day. question. For all the for all the three types of table, for all the 
three types of table. Okay, so default retention time is what? Important question. Okay, default retention time is what? Is one day. One day only. One day only. One day only. Okay, got the point. Huh? Now tell me how can I find say temporary table, permanent table, by using which concept? See the data we can able to set. Okay, say by using which which column we can able to find say permanent table or temporary table or transient table? Kind kind column. See. So see kind column. Okay, so by using this kind we can able to say this is what again. Okay? So see this is temporary table. Okay, this is. Transient table and this is permanent. Table. Remember, okay, important point. Okay, so by default, when you create any type of table, what is what is the table? Say, what is the table? This is anything we are mentioning. Huh? So by default, say permanent table. Okay, we should use what we should use which keyword? We should use transient keyword, and we should use what we should use temporary, or you can say temp. Okay, so we should say when you don't mention what happens. Say by default, say temporary. It's a permanent table. Say transient. Say temp or temporary. Okay. So we, if you don't mention what happens, by default, say permanent table. What the point? Of? For all this type of data reduction table, what it will be default will be one day, one day. Okay, see this thing. Okay, now what happened? Now I'm putting creator replace. Okay, so understand this concept. Okay, we can have data retention. Okay, so data retention time in days. Okay, see this is important. Okay, so I'm putting one. Okay, so what happened will be one day. Suppose I'm putting two, it will be two days. Suppose I'm putting ninety, it will be ninety days. Okay. Suppose I'm putting ninety one. What is saying telling? See this important. You see, maximum exits, maximum allow okay. retention. So in the sense like what? Okay. So retention period for this permanent table is what for zero to how many days? Important question. Zero to ninety days. Okay. So if you are preparing for Snow Pro certificate, now these are important. Okay. See, zero to ninety. Days, ninety days. Okay, ninety days. Okay. What about the other thing? Okay, so see data retention time. I'm going for this thing. Now I'm putting zero. Tell me it's working, ah? Huh? It's working. Okay, already there. Okay, I will put create or replace. Okay, see zero. It's working fine. One, it is working. Fine. Okay, see one, one. It is taking. Okay. Now just what about two? What saying? Tell me. So what is the retention? What is the retention for? For what? For temporary transient table. Say what? It's a zero to two. Two. One day. One day only. Say say two is not working. Say say okay. Two is not working. Okay. Only one day it's working. So zero to one day. Got the point? Ah, zero to one day. Okay. So important point. Okay. So same thing. Go back here. Okay. Now take the same thing. So create or replace. Okay. Like these are important. Intro perspective. They are important. Okay. And no pro certificate. If you are preparing, it is important. Okay. So take the same thing. Now take the same thing. Now what I am putting zero. Tell me it's working. Ah, huh? okay. See what happened. Same problem. Okay. What is the issue, anyone? So it's working. Okay. What about one? See. What about one? Okay, it's working. What about two? Okay, see what happened. It's working fine. But what happened? Okay, see when I put ninety. Okay, so see ninety. Okay, what happened? It is taking. What about ninety one? It is taking. Eh? It is not taking. But see what happened when I go for show tables. Now what we are putting? See we we are putting what we are putting ninety six exact twenty. Okay, so this is what this is temporary EMP. Okay, go for show tables. So click this thing. Now what is this thing? What is this one? Tell me. One, how many? One or ninety? This is what one, one. or ninety? One only. See what happened? This is a bug. Okay, so it's don't like bug. See what happened? Okay, so for temporary tables, what to only for zero to zero to one day. But what happened when working? It is it is like bug only. See what happened? It's taking, but it's not correct only. See, it's taking what is taking only one day only. Got the point? Huh? So see, so conclusion is that what? Okay, permanent table have zero to ninety days. Transient table will have zero to one days. Temporary will have zero to one day. Got the point? Huh? Suppose see this thing understand this concept. Okay, so now now see what happen. Okay, now we'll try to put one more table. Okay, so load schema. Okay, so many things are there. Now before that, tell me how can I create a database? How to syntax create for database? Syntax for creation of database. Anyone what is syntax for creation of database? Somebody ask me to tell me. Syntax for creation of database. Tell me. Yeah, create. Okay, create. 
create or replace okay create or replace database tell me database. which in directly will work in production or which in will work for which will work for dev and run dev and run okay so join dev dev db okay so development database steam development steam okay see so. Now, if I go for show tables, how many records are there? There won't be. What okay? Any records? Huh? There won't be any records. Now, what happened? I am trying to create these three tables. Okay. So I am trying to create this. Okay, these are important cases. Okay. okay. What happened? Okay. See, right now, how many records are there? Three records are there. Okay, so go back here. Okay, now we are trying to open one more session. SQL worksheet. Now we are in which database? Tell me. We are in which database? Okay, June thirty. So see. So this is important. Okay. So June thirty. June thirty dev schema. How can I list of tables? Tell me. Show. It's important. Okay. Tell me how many tables came? How many tables came here? Two tables. Two tables. Which table doesn't came? Temporary. Temporary tables. Okay, see, this is what. Okay, go back here. When I see this thing, what happened? Okay, so go back here. We are getting. So this. Okay, where is this thing? Okay, this is. How many tables came? So here, permanent, temporary. Time. One more important question is what? Okay, so temporary tables are. These are session based tables. Okay, so these are. These are available to the particular session only. Session only. Got the point, right? So see, this are okay. Got the point. See, see, okay, see. One more time. Now, okay, go back here. What happened? Okay, now we see what happened. Three things are there. Okay, now close this thing. Close this thing. So try to open. Okay, so how to open? Okay. It won't come. On, one second. Okay, see time travel. Okay, so click on this thing. Now try to open. See right now how many three records are there? Okay, it's coming. Okay, so see. Okay, so these are like okay. Once we log out of this system, now what happen? Okay, so this will get automatically drop. Okay, see one more time when we close the session. Okay, or log out the session. Then what happen? Tell me. So this the what? Okay, the temporary table will get. Automatically dropped. Okay, so drop. Okay, one second. Try to log off and see. Okay, one second. So got the point. I see. These are important. Okay, see one more time. Go back and see. Okay. So got it. See what happened. How many records came? Two records. Why? Because what? Okay, when you log out the session, what happened? The table get automatically drop. Okay, until the session last night, table will be there. Got the point? A little bit at this. Okay, see. So temporary tables and temporary tables are session specific. Okay, see, it will not be available in other session. Got the point? So okay, see, if you have conclusion, no, got it. So one more time. How many types of tables we are having? Tell me. We are having permanent table, transient table, transient table. Then one more thing is that what? One more thing is that temporary tables. Okay, then tell me by this is by default. Okay, now when you when you want to create transient, what we should extra keyword we should put what transient keyword, transient keyword. And one more thing is what we put temporary tempor temporary keyword. Okay, temporary. Okay, one more thing is that what? Okay, this is for zero to how many days sample for zero to ninety days. Okay, what about transient zero to how many days zero to one day only. What about this one? Tell me zero to One day only. Got the point? Eh? So getting the punch little bit. Let's see. So time travel is nothing but what accessing historical data up to specific period. Specific period is nothing but say data retention time. Okay, data. Okay, go back to show tables. We can able to get okay retention time. Let's see. Up to one day, up to nine days, we can able to access this. Okay. 
tell me when we increase the data tell me storage cost will be there or not tell me when we increase this data storage cost will be there okay because up to 9 days we want to store this data in the sense like what 90 days the customer need to pay to the cost snowflake the amount we need to pay what are the point let me tell this yes or no get the points huh? yes n dots yes or no n1 okay so see okay and one more concept is that what okay not question is that okay after 90 days okay i want to access the data okay access the data is there an option okay so okay so after 90 days also i want to access it tell me is there any option huh? right one of that is fail safe mechanism okay so see this thing okay you'll get to know okay so go back here So this is important to see this thing, okay? Now what you're asking, okay? So continuous, this is nothing but what we're discussing. This is nothing but CDP cons. That is continuous data protection. Okay, so how can you protection by this? By saying what? Time travel, see? So this is what, okay, when I put select star from, okay, when I put, remember something? When I put select star from table, what happened from where, where can you getting? We're getting from current data. So, so when I put select star from table before statement, Tomorrow we see a little bit, okay, say statement. So this is what, okay, this is nothing but what? It's coming from what? It's coming from time travel period. Okay, now what happened, okay? Time travel for our zero to, zero to 90 days. Suppose we want to get, okay, additional days, we should go for what? We should go for which concept? So this is, I'll take the screenshot. So what is it? We are continuous data protection. We want to protect this data. How can protect by using time travel feature? Okay, see, one more thing is that what, okay? After 90 days, if we want to get, you know, we are having one other is, Fail safe, fail safe. Only for permanent tables, fail safe is there. Okay, see. So one more thing, okay. If we want to get the additional additional seven days, we should go for our concept, we should go for fail safe, fail safe. Okay. So remember this is this is not in our control. Okay, control. This is okay. This is managed by Snowflake, snowflake, snowflake in the sense like the customer, okay, snowflake, see, no user operations allowed, data recovery only by snowflake team, okay, not our snowflake, it's not our team, okay, only by snowflake, okay, so we need to, we need to erase the service request to snowflake to bring the data, suppose if we have after 90 days, we want to get data, we should go for what, we should go for fail safe mechanism, okay, only for permanent table, it is there, for transient table, it will be, there won't be there, what the point, one more time, so go back here. Okay, so see this thing, you'll get an okay. So you'll see tomorrow one more time. Okay, see now what happened? Okay, I'll take the screenshot. Now see this thing by default when you get what happened, it's a permanent table. So we need to mention explicit transient keyword and template. Tell me after once a session close now, what happened? Tell me table will drop. Huh? It won't be dropped. It won't be dropped. Only this session will get this will get drop. Okay. Time will 0 to 9 days, 0 to 1 days, and 0. Fail safe for only permanent table, this will be 0. Okay. So data only for all users, all users, only for this particular period of time. Okay. So one more time I'll explain. Okay, simple thing. Time travel is what anyone can able to definition. Definition can try anyone. Time travel is nothing but what anyone. Anyone can able to tell no? Accessing the previous data. Uh, uh, previous Historical, historical data. Historical data in a sense like what somebody modified, somebody updated, somebody deleted. Okay, that's simple. So like somebody dropped this table. I want to go for what? We should go for time travel table. Tell me we can able to go for 365 days huh? or one year or two years. Huh? What happens? Say, up to specified Night period of time. time. Specified period is nothing but what? Say, data retention time. So we are asking to Snowflake. So this much time we need to retention this data. Got the point? Huh? Retention time. Okay. So this is nothing but what? Data retention time. Got the point? Huh? Let me at least. See what happened okay, again. We're having what we're having three types of table. One is permanent table, transient table, and temporary table. Okay, for this one, what zero to 90 days, and we'll have seven days for fail safe. What about this one? Zero to one day, okay, okay and zero, okay, zero, zero, what zero fail safe. Okay, so same thing, zero to one day, and so on one more thing is that what temporary tables are what is a session specific. Okay, so it will available for only for particular session only. Got the point? Huh? Okay, got okay. So let me okay. So so we'll see the some intro questions. Okay, got it. Huh? The same. Go back here.
so okay prepare for interview also okay like prepare notes okay so this one more time okay so active data select star from table so modify data we can able get in the time travel suppose like if you want to get additional data we will go for what we should go for seven days this is continuous data protection okay so the flow is nothing but from time travel is nothing but continuous data protection we want to protect why we want to protect data because so production data no we need to say okay something happened we can able to go back and we can able to recover this thing okay. so go back here so where is the thing okay So see this thing, okay? These are like Snow Pro interview questions, okay? See, which which activity requires intervention by Snowflake support team? Tell me, which activity Snowflake is supporting? We need to come into picture. What are the name of the activity? Fail safe. Fail safe. Only fail safe. Okay, so safe, fail safe. Okay. In a similar fashion. Okay, we'll see one more time. Okay, one SQL question. I'll go. Okay. Okay. Tell me department wise, I want to get the highest salary. How to get department wise highest salary? We should go for what concept? Department wise highest salary. The simple thing. Yeah, yes, yes. yes. By it's important. Analytical function. Okay. Now without analytical function, it's not possible. Huh? Yes, tell me. I want to get department wise highest salary. Okay. So these are basics. If you're not able to follow them, real time will get thousands of lines of code there. Okay, how can I how can I dig all these things? Tell me. Department is highest salary. How to get simple question? Uh, by using subquery is also open. No normal thing. Okay, how can I get normal thing? So first we should go for simple thing. Then we should go for subquery. So tell me, simple thing. How can I do? We can use the qualify keyword. Oh, no, why? What happened here? Okay. Simple question. Department is I want highest salary. Why we want qualified to get? Okay. So how to get department is? Yeah, group by. Right, group by. Thing. Okay. First we should go. Remember, okay. Always go for simple thing. Okay. So select max of salary. Okay. From a department ID. Okay. From EMP. Then we should go for group by. Okay. So group by department ID. Then we can say like, okay, what is other thing? Other thing is what? By using analytical function, we should go for qualified keyword. Okay. So always like simple thing we are getting. You know, they want simple thing. Okay. What about third highest salary? We should go for. Tell me third highest salary. What is the third highest salary? Now tell me. Third yeah. Salary. We will go for an article. An article function. Okay. Now I want to get third. We should go for. We should use qualify keyword. Okay. So what about the same thing? We should go for. Tell me which keyword we should. Department wise second highest salary. Department wise second highest salary. How to get? Your dance name. Okay, dense triangle. We should use which keyword? Only dense triangle work. Huh? We should use extra keyword. Yeah, dense rank and mm -hmm. over. Dense rank and partition by department wise department and uh, over partition and by department wise department. Okay, we should use which keyword? Partition by keyword. Okay, got the point. Right? Okay, see. Okay, by using partition keyword, we need to do all this. Okay. So what about this thing? Tell me what is still worker? Tell me. Select department ID to work. No, no, it's not work. Okay, what is department ID? I'm instinctively there in group by statement. So we should use group by class. Got the point? We should use group by class. Okay. Yes, I'm getting the points a little bit at least. Okay, like this way you need to get again. Clear so far? Okay, so one more time. One more, one more thing. Okay. So like this, you need to prepare. Okay, like okay, remember. Okay, we'll say only eighty to eighty-five percent only. Okay, if you, we need to search in Google and it's done. Okay, so if you say if you want to say how complete, it will take three, four, five months. Will be there. Okay, so whatever things I'm saying, at least you need to learn. Okay, so remaining you need to search in Google. Okay, so see what happened. Which of the following statements are true about fail safe? Tell me. Only a snowflake employee can record the fail. Okay, so is it true or false? Only false safe. Tell me, is it true or false? False. 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 Only a snowflake employee no, can record true. data from. Oh, it's it's true. It's true. Okay. It's true. So there won't be an echo. Okay. You need to say remember one thing. When you're interviewing for interview, no, we should say we should stick on one answer. Okay. Either yes or no. Okay. See, you're saying one yes or no. Again, yes. Okay. So tell me yes or no. True or false? Yes. That's true. true. Only what? Only snowflake employee uh, can need to get the things. No. See, only a snowflake employee can record data. We don't have the place. Okay. What about failsafe is a reliable way to create dev test queue and other environments. Okay, before that we'll see. So failsafe is not also tables that have time travel. Correct? 
fail safe is not available for time tables that have time travel yes or no no false so for the okay so mute yourself thank you very much okay see okay see what happened fail safe is not available for tables so what do happen tell me what about permanent tables okay time travel is there okay it's a false thing okay what about data stored as a part of fail safe is part of storage cost charged to customer tell me data stored as a part of fail safe is part of storage cost charged to customer tell me so snowflake will store data freely yeah? no it's charged charged no okay so seven days they are storing the sense like what seven days customer need to pay to the snowflake is a charge so it's also correct what about this thing tell me fail safe is a reliable way to create dev tell me for okay suppose in dev you know what okay we create 100 dummy tables dummy tables dummy permanent tables when you create permanent table tell me what happened tell me 100 days okay so so in the sense like what 700 700 days they need to capture the data tell me when we capture what happened okay so this the customer need to pay this thing. tell me fail safe is only reliable for what only for production environment got the point so see fail safe is relevant see for only this is for testing purpose development testing here we want to preserve data tell me we want to preserve this employee data blah. we don't want only production data need to be preserved what the point huh? only production data needs to preserve needs to preserve okay so dev now this is for testing purpose only okay we don't want fail safe for this thing so we should go for either temporary or transient tables got the point huh? so like this you need to understand okay so see go back here okay Okay, so any questions? Huh? I'll see one second. Tell me what is the fail safe period of transient table? Transient table? Zero. Zero because transient table and temporary tables, they won't have any fail safe. How to disable time travel and table? Tell me, I want disable time travel and table. How can disable? Anyone? Tell me anyone how can disable data retention time equal to zero. Equal to zero. See what happened. Okay, so see. Suppose go back here. Okay, so go back here. Okay. Okay, now what happened? Suppose show tables. Okay. Now see this thing. Okay, now what happened? Okay, what happened? Okay, so this table. Okay. What this is? This is okay. Now, okay, already created. Okay, now I want to disable. Okay, how can I disable? We should go for what concept? We should go for which concept? We should go for alter statement. Okay, alter table table name. So data retention time. See, take retention time equal to zero. Okay, so once you create now, if I want to disable, I can able to go for alter. Okay, so set data retention time equal to zero. Now what happened? Tell me time travel get disabled okay so if we have so already created now if you want to disable you can able to go like this what the point it will be zero what the point if you want to disable you can able to, okay if you want to increase you can able to. so once created if you want to modify you can able to go for alter statement okay. what the point is see what are the constraints snowflake and which constraints okay yes. enforces tell me which constraints snowflake enforces enforces tell me anyone tell me which constraints snowflake enforces default not null default not null and default constant okay so go to point a little bit at least clear so far okay see this is the way so you'll see tomorrow like little bit like time for some props up and reload it okay so main purpose is that what understand the concept that okay something happened to my data i want to access the data okay normal database normal database we don't have to do that is okay we don't have to do that. Okay, we need to take the backup okay if any backup now we can able to okay. but in snowflake we're having time travel feature okay we can able to go back and we can able to access those things okay so by using what by using query id we can able to access by using timestamp we can go for like this tomorrow see like how to get timestamp and how to get. Mm -hmm. so like this okay prepare okay like cloning okay so one one feature okay see what happened we have seen cloning next one what is in next one time travel next one is in table types okay and we have seen what session id and query id for each and every session and query will be there. okay these are important okay so this we can able to access the data you got the 